I think that's possibly an olive branch. Um, I think Harry may have upset the royal family a bit over the last few months. Can't say more than that. <laughs> um, and it, we all knew that she was going to have Diana, obviously, after Prince Harry's mother, Princess of Wales. But to call the baby Lilibet does, for example, align her for her whole, whole life with Her Majesty the Queen. Everybody knows that was the Queen's secret private name. And uh, I think that maybe this is a way of trying to edge back. No. No. Absolutely not. First of all, Harry and Meghan don't have to offer an olive branch for anything. They've done nothing wrong. Harry has always said he loves his great-grandmother. The fact that he speaks truth, the fact that he shares his own personal experiences of different things, does not mean he was in a chaotic relationship with her. And I don't believe that the Queen is the only Elizabeth called Lilibet, OK? And I don't believe they need to ask her permission to call their child Lilibet in honour of her. Or it's like saying, should we ask Diana, you know, permission before we name a child after her? No. What we see here are people losing their God-forsaken minds because there's nothing they <laughs> can do about the fact that Lilibet is the great-granddaughter of the Queen. They so dislike Harry and Meghan. They can't have a petition to say, strip them off their titles, strip her, strip her off her name. They are absolutely... They, they, they have no power. They're we, absolutely we, powerless. Let's look at the name here. So this is this is the name of, of the, the newest royal, Lilibet Diana Mountbatten-Windsor. There it is. Diana after Princess Diana and Lilibet after the Queen. Now have a look at the, this name, which is Charlotte, who is the daughter of William and okay. Kate. She's already got the name. Thank you. And is nobody, it, but isn't that a problem? No, how is it a problem? These are their second and middle names, right? So people are going to call Charlotte Charlotte and they're going to call Lily Bell Lily. But please, please understand this. Why wasn't there the same outrage about Elizabeth? Why, was it, why weren't people going, well, did they get permission from the Queen to call her Elizabeth? After all, it's only the Queen of is this it, country that's called because... Elizabeth. Yeah, but he is the future King of England. Oh, no, no, and no, it's, no, and it's very, very, very often Eve. that they call people after previous You are creating and excuses, but... Bottom line is that Lily is a great granddaughter of the Queen, and she's been Eve, honoured. Yeah, go on. Lily, yeah. Well, and may I say that. that's not true because, for example, she's not a great granddaughter. She is no. a great granddaughter. Okay, but it is very normal in our monarchy, in our yes. royal family, which is and my royal family well, and my monarchy. Thank, thank you. But I know a lot about the background of their names. It's very, very normal to call your child after the reigning queen. I mean, And that's what they've done. Isn't, fact, isn't, the, difference, Charlotte, of... isn't the difference... You, you've asked what the difference is with, with William and Kate yeah. calling Charlotte Elizabeth and, and with Harry and Meghan calling their daughter Lilibet. And the answer surely is this, that William and Kate didn't accuse the royal family of racism. Oh, my goodness. Isn't okay. that the reason? No, no, first of all, before you even get to the racism part, please, let's understand that the whole issue around Harry and Meghan was how dare they step aside from senior royal duties. You only heard about the, the racist implications around the colour of the child a year later. And, no, while they did not accuse the Queen of being racist. They said there were several members of the family that, that raised concerns. That means them all under No, 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 us. no, 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 no. Said It means said that it. the institution, of course, is called into, into the monarchy as family is called into question. There's nothing wrong with that. Is there bad parenting as well, Charles? But, but Harry yeah. also said he has a close relationship with his, gra his grandmother. And we've seen nothing except what is in the press, mm. trying to portray something negative okay, between let, Harry, let and respond here. I, Harry and the I, Queen. My feeling is they have... I mean, if you say somebody in the family has said awful things about colour, we don't know who that is. Could be George, could be any of them. I mean, George is seven, I think. Um, well, we know it's not the, George. And, and all we, we don't know. I mean, the other thing is, in the Times, after that whole drama, there were lots of letters from people who their children had married somebody of colour, and they said, we didn't talk about the colour of the baby once. No. We called them about the, talked about the colour of the baby for the whole nine months. We were fascinated. Would it have red hair? Would it, have, would it be pink? You don't raise concerns. 
So I, for instance, with my three kids, I kept saying to them when they were in my belly, what you must not do is come out with your father's nose because mommy has a better nose. Okay, that's not because I had concerns about my husband's nose. That yeah, raising concerns about the color the of concern, a child's skin is, that is, is racist. But, but that doesn't. Well, hold on. We hold don't on. know that this that is, was exactly oh, oh, what oh, oh, happened. But Harry told us the first hand account came from Harry, not Megan, because Harry told Megan. But you're trying to change the subject here. Okay. The experience they had in the royal family does not change anything about Harry naming his child after his grandmother. You, right. you're, you're trying to bring up but all these I'm excuses just thinking, we, and we just doesn't, get, it doesn't add up. We may